like everyone's going to kind of be, they, they want to split things up a bit more. So Echo taking the more group. We want to stick together, make plays happen. Towards Evo Icon wants to make plays across the board. But this, ladies and gentlemen, viewers from around the world, this is game number five. As I said before, the Orcas have fought in their way back against the White Tigers. Who is going to take it all? All I want to say, after that exciting intro, Drex, and that, by the way, nothing beat that intro. So all I want to say is, Kansamira to all WCG for inviting us, for casting this incredible series, incredible match. We're gonna witness some new meta. Oh, one strong. One strong. He's gonna be aggressive, but he might be in a bad spot. JP, gonna try to force him out. Curtizi oh. there as well, getting a little bit of poke damage, but Kreitz here to also fire back at Curtizi, but still nobody goes down. Ooh, that was, that was interesting. I thought Manstrong was taking a beating. Uh, I, dude, but it turned out Manstrong stayed strong. Uh, I thought he was going for the JP Franco style, you know? <laughs> just, just go in, doesn't care, beat me up. Who cares? I'm gonna live. And it turned out he lived. Ooh, look at that. This is already level four. Very interesting. Okay, so far, early game opening, you already seen Evo's having a little bit of advantage, right? You got the aggression coming out from Franco. And then Doma playing pretty aggressive with a skill one. Just keep on trading. This is the power of having infinite mana. Look at this guy. The infinite HP, infinite mana. He's not worried about using skills at all. It looks like it's his mana like... bar is about to go past his mana bar. Like he's going to keep using yeah. skills and it's going to get bigger actually. <laughs> it's like there's a new skill called use your skill and you get more mana. What is going on, right? Oh, here oh. we go. Nice flicker, Suchijin, forced to back off though. Curtis coming forward, gets a petrify. Suchijin is the first to fall. Ooh. First blood going over to Zyda. The Terrify connects onto Curtis though. Beldor in a little bit of that spot, but Echo Proud, Gorilla Warfare style. They're gonna hit and run. Cool. Blah coming in though. Yeah, Next. back onto the turtle pit. With the Tempest of Blades, Zyda does have the retry. Don't know if the Psycon are gonna be able to oh! take this. Christ steals it! The knockup, JP taking a lot of damage. Veldora will go down though. Zyda Martis. picking up another kill. Martis. The wall comes up. Martis Oy. needs to try to pop and he gets it. He wants another one. Which is lane, do moves it. over to Curtizi here. Curtizi does get a little you bit of heal. Can he get the final one? Yes, another decimation. That's a double kill over to Sutsujin. Oh my god, what a save from the entire set of evils. One strong into the Valentina copy of the Minonian Fury to make sure that Ling doesn't get any space in Red Tree over there. That was insane. When Suzujin got taken out, we're like, oh, okay. Terizla secured early game and helped the team with a beautiful penalty zone ultimate to make sure this guy dies. And then the entire evil just oh, popped no. off. No, Ooh. Man Strong goes down. They're trying to invade on his Ida, but just not able to. JP style. JP but he's style. not JP though. He's not JP nah. though. Like, yeah, there can so, only be one JP. There can only be one JP. It's uh, it turned out it wasn't it wasn't working. So now the goal is totally even. 99 to 93, almost no goal differences. All look at Martis. Look at Martis top lane. Looking to do something crazy. Looking, searching, hunting. But Kry taking this Minoan's Fury. Now they have a wombo combo of their own wild charge. Minoan's Fury, all the bags are there. Ooh, Outplay's getting pushed away from his tower. Doma's gonna be able to get a nice little bit of chunk change here off this gold plating. JP though, coming in, forced to use the BMI to get away. Okay, okay, okay. I thought they're gonna dive a Minotaur. I was like, no way, right? You're not gonna do that. I mean, that's just, that's, that's too much. Yeah, that's like, yeah, you want it, I get it. But dude, chill. Right, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's only you... four minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Wow. Interesting. Uh oh, Cartesi gets a petrify though, the knockup. Zyda helping Cartesi pick up that kill. Oh, right though with a huge Mano and Fury out of four members. Suchijin picking up the kill out of JP. Veldora hold the front line. Suchijin want another one. I don't think he's got another decimation in the chamber. Oh. He tries to use it, but he's not able to get the finish. Curtis, he brought down to about 50%. The Here damage? comes Doma. Doma. Doma looking for it. Gets the kill. Veldora goes down to the, the side shot. Lands on a crying out play. Wants another one. Crying goes down. A nice double kill. Two for two trade. Things still stand out of standstill. Wow. You know, usually at the last game, 
uh, tracks, what we see, normally see is if team gets to like best of the five and then they play to like the fifth game, the both team will back away from aggression. They play careful, right? Like that's normally what we see. A best of the seven. The last game is usually the most passive. Zero to zero on KDA for the longest time, right? Both teams just play objectives. This game tracks is the opposite of that, right? Both team play to the extreme aggression. I go to you, you go to me, let's fight. Let's trade skills. Let's see who is better at it. It's game it's five. They got their they got their they got their boxing gloves on, they got their fist up, they're ready to throw fisty cups, you know? And here they come. Suchu didn't look for Cartesi, force these rough waves just to get away. And right now I can't tell you who's on top in this game. Yeah, dude. It doesn't matter, it's awesome, that's what it is. I'm loving it. Both teams are throwing the best that they have. Oh, another ult copy. <laughs> another Minodian Fury copy. Oh, here we go. JP. Oh, no. Getting brought down to about 50%. Evo starting to control the map. It's starting to look a little more blue than red right now. Masha cut the wave. Bottom tier one tower might be the first tower going down though, because Teresa not going to make it back. Great rotation from Evos here, cutting the top, and not, not only cutting one tower, both. top tier one's gone, too. Yeah, Woo. that's huge. They just opened up the map a lot for themselves. This is going to give Veldor the opportunity to start uh, rotating around a bit more. Same thing with Doma. We've already seen Doma move around the map incredibly. Evo Psycon looking very reminiscent of how they brought the heat in game one and two. Oh, Ryan Strong with a little flank. Try to find a little positioning. Oh, here we James. go. Masha on lean bottom side. And lean's not going to do anything to Masha, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Uh, both of them really taking Tracks. their time. Cry able to take that Minoan's Fury once again, but not trying to force it. Turtle's going to be up. Both junglers making their way uptown. Ooh. Oh. Mm, ultimate. Barely missed. Cry wasted. Snipe shot. Does land on a Cry. Brings Ooh. it down to about half health. With everyone so low and so many utilities gone, do they want to take this? Sujajin does. He's going in between 25. all four. He doesn't care, but a wild charge comes in. Blaze Duet. Blaze Duet. Duet. JP able to take it, though. Outplay takes out Sujajin. Cry all the run and a killing spree. Double kill all into the hands of Outplay. But Veldor in the side lane is cutting it up right now. He's cutting up the towers. And my question is, don't go in. Right? Oh, here we go. Right? Oh, Doma. Are you, do you really want to go for this? Are you going to be able to take out JP? Decides to run away. Zyda gets caught up by Doma, though. Ends up still going down to a tower shot. Oh, my God. That must be the, one of the funnest way to go down. You know, this just shows you in, in Mobile Legends, doesn't matter how the meta shifts, the principles never change, right? Because once you go the number disadvantage game and you go in, the Suzuki is just now in the turtle fight. He wanted to go in and take the turtle, but sh really shouldn't have. Right, the Masha is split pushing. You can just walk around, dance a little bit, and you know, get a job done. But instead, he goes in, didn't get a turtle, and sending out more t uh, two kills to the other side is just unnecessary. And sure enough, now after all this battling back and forth, we're back to Ground Zero tracks. It's completely even on the on the farm. Yes, a few kills, but it doesn't really affect anything. The tower is completely even. Echo gonna get bottom tier one tower, and then we're back to Skewer one. I mean, Evo Psycon does have one more tower currently, even after Echo Proud takes that. <laughs> True. And look at Veldora. He's already moving up to the top side. They've switched lanes respectively. And now he's just going to continue to do a split push thing. Get involved in these fights a little bit, but he's going to become harder and harder to kill. I mean, the Masha's got, what, like three yeah. health bars. And if, if it's just Ling coming after Masha, Masha should be fine. But still, both teams know how much pressure Melee. is on the line right now. Watch Van Strong, watch for Van Strong. Are we going to see a big knock up? There it is. It comes in. Ball Doma, charge. ready to follow up. But no, it's Fury. JP fires one back. Sujijin already take down James. Sujijin wants Doma another one. Zaitas here. Deficit of Blades able to find Kryden to the back side. Doma with the Blades. Blade 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 for another one, trying to move in. Decides to BMI away. Zaita gets a poke off. But still, Ooh. it's one for one. No big losses on either side. Oh, 17 kills on the board. Completely even par on track. 27.9 to 27.9. Oh, JP might be overextended. Here we go. Jin messes One up the decimation, but still finds JP. Doma now on the trail. Another killing spree in his hands. It's 3 0 right now. Doma BMI's Yo. in. He's getting aggressive. aggressive. He is not scared. BMI's back runs right into Zayn. 
little bit of trouble. Doma goes down. Van Strong as well. I'll play with a shutdown. Make it a double. Sujin coming in to clean up. Christ! Christ! In the nick Christ! of time! Finds the double, a triple at that. A five-man wipeout, oh. Evo Saikon looking like icons. Oh my god, Evo do look like icon tonight. Oh, that, what a cleanup. That was a perfect time to come in. I was like, okay, this is this is a little bit too much, right? When Claw jumps in with the aggressive dash, I was just about to say how Doma has been playing so perfectly all this time, doing dashes. The, the BMI just to get all attack in, reposition, now using ultimate. And then, and then the BMI aggressive. I was like, oh, this guy's suicide. And everybody dove on. Aku, entire team dove on to Doma. And they still managed to trade, get everybody low for Cry to come in through the sweep. That was, a, that was probably the most beautiful moment, you know, any Valentina can dream of to come in for a, for a skill combo to clean up. Jeez, but look at the gold. Finally, a thousand gold difference to Evo's favor. I mean, know about these teams, it is still dead even. All it takes is one big play. I will say this, though, with Doma, with Krite, we are starting to see that scaling start to happen. I'll play those six one and one on the Beatrix. If they can just create the space for outplay to make the play, the outplay could potentially happen. Lord down to about 30% now. Both there teams taking the time. Zyda getting it. Eyes on from Veldora. Van Strong wanted to create space too. Craig cleared the mid wave. Sujajin to staying close oh, to this Lord. We got to keep our eyes on JP. It. He's looking for the No and Fury. He's looking for the oh, big the knock up. Veldora there as well. He finally comes in. He gets one. Penalty zone does come into the backside. Oh no, not the penalty zone. James decides to wait, but Bardman comes down. Ball does charge. get reset, but wait, James comes in. Zyda there as well, but Sujajin finds James. Zyda. With the Tempest of Blades in the backside, able to find Shike, gets the cut down. Double kill for Sushijin, though. Can he make it a triple? Yes, he does. Don't a mind, Maniac! Is this going to be a Savage? It's a Savage! Dola takes the Lord of the Savage, goes to Sushijin. First Savage WCG in the final game of the night. Can Evo kind of end this here? Ten seconds on the clock. So James and JP are back up. Forget about the Lord. Dude. We're moving in. They're going for it. They're going to try to One end this. Second. They've got Doma. James they off. That advantage. is going to be it. All the penalty zone is not enough. And ladies.